hello and welcome. In today's episode of Dr. Not, I take you through what the fetal heartbeat sounds like. We all know that the heart is a vital organ that pumps blood around our body to provide us with oxygen and vital nutrients to keep our organs pumping and alive. But let's take it back a few steps. As you can see, babies are really small and surely they don't have the heart the size of an adult, which is actually the size of a fist, right in the middle of our chest. Instead, we'll take a look at how the heart actually develops and how it beats as well. And we'll even take a listen to what it sounds like in the utero, i.e. in the womb. By the time of six weeks of pregnancy, the heart is comprised of a number of cells that actually flutter. And you can see this sometimes with an ultrasound scan. And very often people have their dating scans or their ultrasound scans around six to seven weeks, and they'll be able to see a tiny little flicker of a heartbeat. Now that is pretty special. By the time the pregnant person reaches the eight week of pregnancy, the heart actually starts to separate. So that means it starts to go into its chambers, i.e. the four chambers that we can see over here. And as you can imagine, as the baby is evolving and growing bigger, the heart is also increasing in size too. And in fact, by the 12th week, i.e. the third month of pregnancy, the heart actually moves into a position of the thorax, so sitting in the center of the chest over here by which point the heart is actually eight millimeters in size. Now, to put that into context for you guys, that is the size of a grain of rice. I know, pretty small, isn't it? To think from a grain of rice to a fist, there is some pretty magical stuff happening here. Now the heart continues to develop and approximately at 17 weeks, it's now double its size. So it's about 16 millimeters, i.e. two grains of rice. And this growth process keeps going on and on and on. And in fact, by 21 weeks of pregnancy, the heart has almost tripled in size. Now you can imagine that the heartbeat itself must sound quite different. And that is because the heart beats a lot quicker than say an adult's heartbeat. Just to put it in context, an average adult's heartbeat is about 60 to 100 beats per minute. And we've heard in our previous videos what this sounds like. But things are a little bit different for a fetal heartbeat. They are much quicker. In fact, they actually beat from 110 to 160 beats per minute. But why does it need to be so fast? Well, you can imagine they are growing. They're rapidly evolving, they're rapidly growing. And so the heart needs to pump a lot faster to push those vital nutrients and that oxygen around their body to enable it to grow in uniform. That is pretty magical. Now let's do something really special and take a listen to the fetal heartbeat. Wow, now that was pretty special. Now that was achieved by listening to the heartbeat using a Doppler ultrasound with a bit of jelly on the top of the probe here and taking a listen to the uh, heartbeat of the baby inside of the mother's womb. And typically you'll see there'll be some variants of the heartbeat ranging from 110 to 160 beats per minute and you'll hear a nice sound from this machine. That's pretty cool. And I have to say that is one of the perks of being a general practitioner is that I get to listen to a lot of baby heartbeats and it's truly just exceptional how something so small can give out such a loud noise. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, but Dr. Nora, this heartbeat is so high. When does it actually start to slow down? Well, in fact, you'll start to see that the fast heartbeat does continue throughout most of their childhood. And in fact, by about 10 years of age, children's heartbeat does tend to slow down and it tends to reach about 60 to 100 beats per minute as an adult's heartbeat. So there you have it guys, we just had a little sneak peek of what a baby in utero, i.e. in the wombs, heartbeat sounds like and how it develops over time. I hope you guys have found that video useful and of course if you have any questions please don't hesitate, drop me a line in the comment section below. And for now, take care and stay healthy.